Alright, hello everyone, welcome back to Pokemon Coliseum. Last time we went back to get uh, the stuff we missed in that one area, and we found a bonus battle, which was very difficult. I actually really enjoyed it though, all things considered. I mean, I say that in the context of having won it, I probably wouldn't feel that way if I didn't, but still. Uh, next up, we got some more plot stuff to do here. We're obviously not done in this area, given that, like, we still haven't found the key to that one elevator that the one lady's guarding, right? But I don't know what to do about that yet. Maybe we'll come back here later on. Maybe I don't know where I'm actually going. That's fun. Yeah, I'll figure out my way out of here, but, um... I, today, I don't know what we'll be doing. I guess we'll mainly just be trying to figure out like where the plot goes from here, right? Like we had some dialogue before. We couldn't leave the town because we got to talk to the fortune lady. So maybe that's what we'll do. Let's go all the way back. If we talk to this lady now, we still cannot enter. I do not have the key. So I guess we're just, uh... Out of luck here, maybe we'll get it from the fortune teller lady or something. I don't know. We'll just talk to everyone and we'll see when we get a plot. Yeah, first person to try out the fortune teller here. Because she's waiting out for us and she won't let us leave town for some reason. Fatine. Uh, yeah. Okay, Rui knows Fatine. I guess Rui is from here, right? Okay, can we go there? Because I've got a bunch of Shadow Pokemon to de shadow. How did you forget you're visiting your grandfather? That, okay, now this is good. If we can do Shadow Pokemon, that will get us some progress. Alright, well, that's kind of an awkward plot thread, but I'll take it. Agate Village. I don't know how you're supposed to pronounce it, but... Probably a gate. Ooh, a nice bird's eye view of the whole area here. Music here is a bit weird, but sure. And the air tastes uh, different. That's pretty cool. Real steep inclines. Uh, hope nobody's visiting here in a wheelchair. Because good luck getting up that like 80 degree incline. And I guess we'll just wander around. Hello. Soon soon. Egan's granddaughter. Okay. There's the Poke Center in the back, which should be. Yeah, that's pretty cool to visit. Uh, not right now. I I'm sorry about that, old man. I will fight you eventually. This is a Mart. This is not a. Pokemon Center. Oh, you can use Sense to de-shadow Pokemon too, I know that's a thing. We might want to do that at some point, but we actually should buy some of these while we're here. Uh, money is kind of tight in this game, I will say. Um, well maybe we'll wait to run the potions until we actually like are using them. But now, oh, I maybe I should use my TMs as well. Ah, uh, yes, it does. I think that's what we're kind of here for. I would like a, um, 
to find a healing spot. Why can we go back here? Okay, sure. I would like to find a for sure healing spot before I start any fights, but... Okay, that's weird interactions here. Is this... Oh, this is your grandparents' house. Okay, this is all on you here. Billa. Certainly a name. That's me. I'm just standing here. Yeah, I've got some with me. I should show them to the old people. Oh, okay. Well, there's an event now. I like the music here. Oh, oh, he can really move there. Are we going to follow him or are we just... Ah, uh, we will eventually. What's on TV first? Anything? Okay. I love how the news channel is exclusively focused covering what's happening to me. That should be something more frequently in real life. Oh, is this where you heal? That would be big if true. But yeah, I think news stations in real life should be... Should cover what's happening to me personally. Exclusively. I don't even know where Elk Forest is. We're just gonna... We're gonna keep looking around the town, because like... Where else am I going to go? Oh, the daycare lady. No. Can she do shadow Pokemon? Probably not. Alright, so you can save here. That's good. Actually, let's save here right now, just in case something ha horrible happens. Which, uh, I guess the nature of this game is something you always kind of got to be watching out for. And I guess we'll continue exploring town. It's good to know there's a save here. I don't know why this game loves splitting up the save and the heal. Well, you're old. What does your dog have to say? Boo boo. I love how they're like actual animal noises, not just like saying their own name like in the show. Sabobo. What do you got to say about that? Okay. We'll get there eventually. I thought a relic forest would be um, this passageway, but oh no, this is just a head up here. Yeah, hopefully your grandpa's not in too much trouble because it's going to be a while before we talk to him. That's, that's good, I'll take that. Hello. Alright, so, note to self, I, w I hope it um, uses the real-time clock, because getting a berry every day would be helpful. Uh, there's even more to it. Is this just loop? No, this is a Poke Center. Okay, can I talk to you? Yeah, it sure is. Okay, so here's the real Poke Center. There's a creature off screen that I can talk to but cannot see. Okay, everyone's just talking about the um, current events, which is interesting because it means. Um, it's interesting how often the characters in this game like update their um, dialogue. Like normally in Pokemon games, I don't feel like they talk this often. Like the the dialogue in Pokemon games before always seemed kind of like static. Anyways, um, I think that's the entire village. It seems like so. I'm guessing Relic Forest is down here. That seems to be. No? Hmm. 
I said I was down by the Pokey Center. Maybe to maybe this is just something we'll have to figure out like at a later date. Alright, yeah, give me a bit of a time off screen to try to figure this out. Oh, okay, I figured it out. There's this very subtle downwards path down here. And that lets you go uh, down to this side area. There's probably more areas like that in other spots we should look for. Okay, I should give one of my Pokemon that berry actually before we go into this battle here. Oh. That's patch of poisoning is kinda niche, but I mean it won't hurt it won't hurt. Okay, the Egan has already been through and has already beat Dovin. Dovin. Pretty cool. We'll probably only do one or two battles here. Actually, probably only one given this this game's time. Given this game's speed, I was gonna say time span. That's not really the right word. And we will. I'll uh, take on the Carvana because it can potentially hit Espeon for super effective. I don't really know what move to use, so we'll just. Oh, okay. That works. So maybe we'll have time for a second battle then. Depending on how much damage this does, okay. Not quite as much, but... Why do they always go for Espeon? Like, it's better when they split up their attacks so it can keep both alive. But yeah, this should just KO. This is another battle with where it's just brute force your way through. Yeah, lady, you got two Pokemon. You're not going to be holding many people back. Ouchies. That's certainly a, a lost quote. Oh, and you pay pretty good, too. I, I appreciate that. Well, maybe you're just weak. Right, we'll battle this person next, and then we'll call an episode, probably. Sultan. A very earthy themed name. It's like they didn't want to go with the name Clayton, so they went with Sultan. I don't know what I'm saying. But yeah, once we get some Pokemon de shadowed, it'll be nice. We'll be able to, um. Like, have some better type coverage than just Espeon and Umbreon and the concept of shadow moves. Although, that being said, we're still managing here. Alright, maybe we'll have time to keep on going after this too. I kind of wanted to... Yeah, I should start making my recordings a bit longer, like start aiming for like 20 minutes instead of 15, I'm thinking. And given how this is going, 1 HP survival is kind of unfortunate, but given how slow these battles are, I think... I mean, how nothing these battles are, like... Having the whole, like... Pokemon level 30. I think we can keep going. I'm kind of worried about like how big is this area gonna be given how big um the mirror beast hideout was. Some more good pay. I appreciate that. And what's happening in here? Oh one more. That did catch me off guard. Cass. An alternative spelling. That's like an actual name, so that's pretty cool. 
Alright, so we can hit both for super effective with Umbreon. Maybe we go for the ball toy first? I don't know. Uh, yeah, we'll help in hand here, and I guess we'll just bite the ball toy. I feel like the ball toy is more likely to use um, Ancient Power. One of those moves that like can boost all your stats, because that that would be a bit of a concern. Is it a shadow? I like its funky little dance. Yeah, that's gonna do no damage no matter who they target. Yeah, I feel like helping hand- I don't know how much bite would be doing without helping hand, but I feel like this is a good time to be using helping hand. Like, having any trainer that specializes in psychic types when you um, are given a dark starter is a choice. Alright, another can- oh, Calm Mind, that's- I mean, technically speaking, that's a bit scary, but I don't think you're gonna be able to get much out of that. Now, I will say, I think what we end up unlocking here is the ability- um, I think I already said that, the ability to, like, de-shadow Pokémon. Which, uh, maybe we'll get to that, like, next video, or this video, I don't know. What's gonna happen when we go through this, uh, gate? But I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, you know what, I'm looking at the time. We'll call it here for a day. Next time I'm going there, hopefully we'll be able to start purification. Should be cool. Calling me a little boy, kind of weird, we'll say. But yeah, we'll go to the Poke Center. Yeah, I saw a couple, like another area vaguely like this, or maybe it just attaches here where there's like a chest. Maybe we'll be able to get that right now. Yep, okay. I don't think this is actually the one I saw though, but I will take, ooh, a Quick Claw. Is, that is very hype. That will, that can definitely potentially come handy. And we'll heal up and call it a video. I guess there's a bit of editing I'll have to do with like the cave navigation of that, so maybe it won't be quite 20 minutes, but that's alright. And we'll go ahead and save. Always takes a bit while, a bit of a while in this game to get stuff ready, but. Alright, that's cool. And as always, thank you for watching.